Does Andrew live even further away, like more in the east side of Australia? Alright, so they're taking off. So we got just some guy in the left and Kazu in the right. This is game number three, apparently. They're, it's 1 1. I believe these are the semi finals. Kazu just slightly ahead. In milliseconds here. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, well, this one should be more up here, in my opinion. I'm not sure. But in my opinion, this barracks doesn't really matter. Because you go two refs here. Mm, maybe it. What's a bit better strategy, guys? Because what I usually do is I put my barracks here, just like just some guys does. And I use my second PP to actually crawl to the second patch to place my third ref over there. But I guess the reason why this is a bit better is that your both of your powers are in the back. But I guess it doesn't matter because if you put your power here, you get ganked from here, you lose both your power. So I'm guessing it's both is equally good. But this is well, this is okay. Usually I put mine here because you have like an L shape over here. So usually I put my ref against it, all the way against it. And then if I go double ref, then I have to place it here because of the PP, I can't put it here. Hmm, interesting. Kazu is going... Oh, that's why he did it. He's going double ref, but he wants to split his refs up early on. And I thought you only do that with War Factory first, though. Anyways, Kazu is scouting it out over here. Very greedy build. Well, not really. He's playing War Factory first. <laughs> wow. He was using his harvester to crush one rifleman. I'm not sure that was worth. You should have just let your uh, harvester do his thing. And now let's see what just some guy can do with his ranger. Jew is over east and then west coast. Three hour time difference for Melbourne, but Jew is... Oh my, wow. Man. Poor Andrew, man. Holy shit. Okay, let's see here. If just some guy can do something with this. Oh. I think he got an engineer snipe. Probably did. Hmm. Wait. Does anyone know how the vet system works? Like, isn't it... Um, if you killed something that is double your assets, then you get a veterancy, right? Wasn't the one rifle blocking the... I'm not sure, actually. That's actually... That's probably a good... Yeah, that's probably the case. Keen eye, my friend. Keen eye, man. These guys. Such eagle eyes in the chat. Okay, just some guy not really achieving anything with his... Uh... Oh, he has two rangers. He made a second one. He's actually blocking the war faction. So... Which is not too bad, actually, because it forces Kazu to... He has to move his forces back. And what's coming out? An ore truck. So, yeah, that's pretty valuable right there just to lose him some precious time and because he's playing double ref yeah he has nothing to deal with that i'm surprised uh, he has a light tank didn't he yeah because that got killed by the medium probably interesting oh and now he's going back and forth forcing kazu to put a pillbox down nice and out goes the ranger oh he dropped off the engineer nice didn't want to lose that either yeah, I think it goes like 200% of unit values vet 1, then 4 honor. Yeah, okay, so he, he definitely killed an engineer. So he got two vets. And then he's probably 100 assets away to going to vet 3, I believe. Oh, just some guys playing pretty good. He managed to equal out the army value right now. He did a lot of scouting. 
Ooh, what? Okay. Guys are not paying attention there. But yeah, like, as you can see, just some guys doing a lot of scouting. Oh, and now Kazu did make a ranger after all. And both players have gone for the oils. I'm guessing that it, that's a good idea to kill it off. Then you don't have to worry about capping it back or whatever. Okay, let's see what both players are gonna do here. So as you can see, just some guy knows. Um... And this is interesting. Just some guy knows that there is a small army here. But Kazu doesn't know. Like he saw the two tanks. And it's nice that just some guy... I think just some guy pulled those back. Because he saw the ranger. And, and Kazu has no idea about this. So... And he's going in right now. Kazu is protecting that. He probably had a feeling. But yeah, I think it's safe for him to go in. Well, he probably... He's got the harvester as well, so yeah, I wouldn't do that either. So if Kazu just used the harvester to soak up some damage, then this army would have probably been completely gone. So nice of just some guy to retreat that. Oh, and he's got a very... Oh, it's a fake! Interesting. This is like the first time I see people build fake war factories. But I guess it's pretty smart, because if I was playing against that, I probably wouldn't even see some war factory. I would be like, oh shit, this guy's already on two war factories? That's insane. But... Well, let's see about Eco. Oh, both doing pretty well so far. Kazu finally doing some scouting with his ranger. Oh, we're probably gonna see a sneak attack on his main patch right here. But just some guys on the move. And that's a lot of medium tanks to soak up some damage. If he, yeah, if he moves those in correctly over there, yeah. He needs to send over some mini gunners. Or he needs to, yeah, that's better. Just, your tanks have to follow with the infantry blob because if you're gonna separate your tanks from your infantry blob, then, yeah, those are pretty screwed. But, wow! That was obviously a lot of infantry, but just some guy lost a lot of medium tanks right there. Yep. Yeah, it's probably like 4k worth of medium tanks. So, pretty poor attack there and great defense from Kazu. A real fake, I know, right? <laughs> I was so, so hyped for a fake building. Fake! Oh yeah, as I predicted, he was going a small detour to get the harvesters. Nice from just some guy to react really fast, but he's probably gonna lose that still. <gasps> yeah, that harvester is not gonna do shit. It's not gonna do shite. Oh, but the medium tank. Oh, he's getting blocked by the other harvester. <laughs> that was probably not on purpose, but pretty funny. But yeah, it, this is forced just some guy to pull his main back, uh, his main army into his main base. And by the time he gets there, Kazu is out. So that's nice. He could he could chase it, but if he would do that, then he probably knows that this is gonna go in. So if I were him, I wouldn't do that. Um, if I were him, I would probably use this army right now to pressure over here yet again. There's not a lot of uh, rocket soldiers here. There's only three so far. There's a lot of medium tanks, but yeah. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, and Kazu's going in for the expansion. I guess that's probably a good idea. I mean, three pillboxes. You only have two medium tanks. And now we have the real deal popping up. Okay, doing some scouting with the medium tank. I like it, I like it. Oh, he's actually going for this army still. He wants to clean that up. Um, that was... Okay. That was weird. Some of the rocket soldiers were just going in. Still pretty even so far. Let's check economy real quick. Eh, about the same. Kazu is still one harvester ahead. But just some guys income. Well, it's, it's still about even I'd say. Ooh, but this is really nice. This is probably open. This is. It's nice that the scout is here. Let's hope just some guy reacts in time. Pull the harvesters back. 
Okay, he did pull the pull box down, but he has to retreat those harvesters because he's gonna lose this one! This was free! Yep. That's unfortunate. Now it's 9 versus 6. Really nice from uh, Kazu to use this rise. I mean, even though just some guy had a scout there, he didn't really react in time. He only put a pillbox down, but still lost the harvester to it. But this is also pretty nice. Kazu has to be aware of this. So if, in my opinion, if just some guy can chase him off here, then he's in a very good spot. But he has 9 harvesters versus 6 right now. And just some guys biggest patch actually except this one was getting contested all the time while Kazu's patches are actually perfectly safe he didn't get harassed that much compared to just some guy so in my opinion just some guy is just trying to hold on and don't get overwhelmed so both on raider tech right now as well so we're gonna get some tier 2 action Ooh, we got a Tanya, so Oh yeah, Kazu's on tier 3, so he probably really tech rushed at the end. And now he's going in with some radar dome units, artilleries, combined with the Blackhawks. It's really nice. And yeah, there's nothing as allies tier 1 that you can do against that at all. So, ally versus allies, you really want to tech up as soon as you see the radar dome from your opponent. Yeah. Like these artillery if they want because they can see that over there and if that hits Man, that's a lot of your infantry just gone especially because the infantry they stack up so much and Five units can share a cell So if that hits your infantry blob Well, then that's probably GG But this also works really well I was playing uh, a guy earlier and he he went radar tech before me and I sent in six medium techs to harass him and the only thing that was in his base were black hawks and artilleries but they didn't do shit against my medium tanks so I just kept moving through his entire main base killing SDs, war factories, harvesters, everything. This best game I played today. Oh man, this poor house man, leave this house alone bro. Don't RT it down. I thought you guys were allies. I thought you guys were the good guys. Ooh, but now this is nice. Artillery versus artillery. And just some guy got some really nice shots in. But unfortunately, his artillery is undefended. And the Blackhawks just clean it up. Artilleries are pretty cheap still. Oh, we got a Chronosphere out as well, boys. We've got a cro Oh, Ooh, I'm not sure how he got that in there, Sneaky. But he needs to use that. Yeah, he can get two Harvesters. And there's literally nothing. Yeah, there's this. Okay, well, that's probably enough to help him. Oh, he's going for the Chronosphere. Oh, the Tanya's there. Oh my god, is it gonna be worth to kill the Chronosphere? He's probably gonna lose his entire army right here. Okay, this is cleanup crew right here, boys. Cleanup Tanya is in the area. Oh my god. Yeah, Kazu almost has double the army value right now. Yeah, no tier 3 from uh, just some guy. Probably, uh, I'm guessing he can't afford to do so or he probably won't be able to catch up in units. But I'm guessing just like tier 1 versus tier 2, I think tier 3 versus tier 2 allies is still... is, is more doable. But yeah, Tanya, man. Tanya and longbows, like especially longbows, are gonna change the entire game. They can just harass your harvesters all the time. She don't have AA guns. Like the moment Kazu, in my opinion, can snipe the radar dome. And I'm not sure if he's producing longbows. Not producing air right now. But yeah, if he can get rid of the radar tech, then he can actually just clean up everything with his longbows. But I'm guessing this is a black hole. Alright, look at this. Pretty solid army from just some guys still, but yeah. The combat tip says it all. But he can still manage here, like if, he's, if he gets a really good comeback here, and he's actually doing so, using his helicopters to get the RDs. And he still has one RT of himself, which looks pretty safe from now. He managed to clean up this, 
he actually did pretty good. He killed like 10k assets right there and he barely lost anything himself. That was a very good push. Ooh, get tricked, boy. Eesh. Oof. Your own medium tank. Oh, but this is not good. This is not good. Oh. Well, I probably would stop producing from that. Yep. Yep. That expansion is a goner. And that's unfortunate because his helipad is over there. So. Oh, he has another one. Okay, that's good. Yeah, just some guy is holding on here, but barely. He's really trying. And yeah, Taya can just run freely here and C4 everything. Oh, he's going in, boys. He's going for the final. Oh, the RT is up front, though. That's not too good. But yeah, he has got the blackout vision as well. So he's got some really nice vision of this army. You really gotta make this work though, because or he needs to clean this up in some way. He's gonna try and make sure of that. He's making another MTV. Why? He has one up here idle. Oh no. Why is he making another one? Maybe to defend his main base? Look at oh my god, look at all the fireworks boys Radar jammer doing work Someone lost the longbow probably Kazu. Yeah, yeah, because just some guy is still not on tier 3 Okay, well, I'm not sure what he is doing right now, Kazu, but he should probably finish this off, this expansion. Look at the combat tab. Just some guy really put in some work there. Hey, Pyramid Fida, welcome man, welcome to the stream, thanks for dropping by. How you doing? Was like 4th of July with that radar jammer, I know, like, it look, look beautiful. Alright. What the fuck? 